Hey track seekers, it's Carly. On today's episode, I'm gonna sit down with two of my most influential friends, ask me questions about my quest of vulnerability and attempted through hike of the AT this year. First, you're gonna see Carly. Yes, we share the same name and yes, we are best friends. And she sits down with me and pretty much asks me vulnerable questions that I had no idea she was gonna ask. She's also my biggest cheerleader that I have in my life, and I am forever grateful to her in all the ways, Car, so thank you. And then you're gonna see Danny, who is the most patient man that I have, I have had the pleasure of knowing so far in my life. He definitely brings out a centeredness in me that I can't really mimic or find, and he's just a gem. Thanks to Cody Babes, Jimena, and Papa Shrimp for also interviewing me. Maybe they'll be featured at a later date if this, you know, inspires other people to be a little bit more vulnerable because the quest is vulnerability, friends. Um, also, Papa Shrimp just chose not to be PC and chose to argue with me the whole time, so he won't be featured till Georgia when he drives me down. Well, we'll see just how it goes, but without further ado, drum roll please, Brrr, my attempts are drum roll, here are the interviews. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up. So Carly, I'm so proud of you. I'm with you every step of the way. Oh, I know you are. <laughs> this is so exciting. Questions to you. Okay. Okay, first of all. What is the worst part? What is the hardest part about being alone? The hardest part about being alone is when you lose yourself in a spiral or rumination. Mm -hmm. And just like Alice said, I mean, once you go down that rabbit hole, it's very difficult to come out mm -hmm. and it's very difficult to understand or have that intuition to know that this is the truth. It's just an experience. It is just an experience because yeah. CBT shows <laughs> emotional reasoning. Just because you feel that way doesn't mean that something bad is really gonna happen. Yeah. But that can be the hardest thing to deal with with being alone. Oh, for sure. Yeah, okay. All right. So now, second question. Incredible job on the first. <laughs> Carly's <laughs> oh, my biggest cheerleader. I don't know if you. It's a that. hard question. A hard question. Okay, so the second one is you're just like uh, being human. What is something that is so wonderful that you will carry it with you wherever you go, and nobody can take it away? My spirituality. Nobody can take that away from me and nobody can take away the memories and the times where I have surpassed my capabilities or where I've shown myself that, yeah, even though I was super low, I did it anyway. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Okay. Third question. What is the most rad survival technique that you know? Rad as in reactive attachment disorder? <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm like, wait a second. I'm like, all right. Uh. Um, no, the most like um, radical, the most radical survival technique that you know. What survival technique makes you a badass? Okay, so I think this is the hardest one. And if you are on trail or a trail that's well populated, when you get injured or where you, when you get hurt, you're actually supposed to wait mm. and just be in that discomfort. Mm. Trust the universe to provide you someone because the odds of you figuring out for somebody else mm -hmm. are actually lower. So I think the biggest survival technique that I have in my back pocket is that I know how to handle discomfort. I love that. <laughs> that is incredible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> God. You are a true badass Carly. And the way that you took these tough questions, I'm amazed. Oh Always amazed. All right. Come here. Thank you. Oh All right. Question number one. Give the vlogging world a glimpse of Carly and what we are in store for, for when you're on your adventure. 
Tell us a story about yourself that will share your personality. Well, uh, depending on the mood that I'm in, mm -hmm. uh, I think you'll get some different things, but I think I'm a balance of calm and collected when I'm in a crisis versus extremely anxious. So normally I need to either be observing someone or in crisis in order to be calm. So you'll see that mixed with a little bit of anxiety when I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so the duality can make it a bit unique mm -hmm. and I'm a mixture between my mother and father. So my dad's like a straight businessman, but he has a wild side. And my mom is my mom. <laughs> I love my mom. Yes, she is. My mom is just like, whatever, go with the flow. Let me ride my horses and be the sweetest, you know, human on the face mm -hmm. of the planet. So you're going to see like those two mixtures and that duality kind of conflict with each other. That sounds pretty fun. <laughs> well, you, you understand. I do understand it and so will they. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, question number two. It's only a few months away from your adventure, right? Yeah. How well prepared are you? Um, and are you expected, are you, do you expect the unexpected at all? How prepared I, I am? Well, I am not really notorious for being a internet explorer, but when I have explored the interwebs uh i kind of get lost in all of the all the jargon and everything that's you know out there that i'm kind of like what does that even mean um but then i like follow up so i met with a friend who's like a research whiz and nice. she was like helping me be like okay this is kind of how to, how to navigate around all of this you know like stuff because there's like so much stuff out there um, right. But I actually knew all the stuff that she she was showing me, well, so I was that's like, positive. "Hey, right? I know this, I knew that." So I actually know a lot more than I thought I did. Okay. Um, so, what percent do you feel you're prepared? Uh, as far as will, I think I'm prepared. You know, 100 percent will. Mm -hmm. Sweet, nice. But as far as like researching everything. Mm -hmm. I would probably say we're right now on the state of the cold tundra. I'm probably like 65% ready. Okay, and today's January 30th. Yeah. So you have some time to be more than 60%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so like another follow up question to fit our preparedness what happens if you get stung by a bee? Because I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. Well, I guess I would have to just roll the dice on that one. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing. I mean, yeah, because it's not like I am 100% allergic. Like they don't know if I'm really allergic or not. Like so. what's worst case scenario for you? Well, I think I might have to bring an EpiPen or I Or just... some, several, just in case. Right. Um, I'm just teasing. a little bit of weight. Uh, but not, not yeah. That's a really good question. Man. Anyway, you have plenty of time to move up from 60% for your preparedness for the trip. For sure. All right, so ready for question three? Yes. Which is my favorite. Um, where were you and what were you doing at the very moment the thought of going on this Appalachian Trail adventure went from a thought to a realization? Where was I? Um, I think I was at my company and I was discovering somebody else's vulnerability and somebody else's quest for self-discovery when I had previously week or weeks before I had spoken with my lifelong friend, mm -hmm. John, um, and he had mentioned the Appalachian Trail and kind of inspired me to look into it. And I was sitting there and I said, yep this is something that i'm gonna do it, it became more of a calling at that moment that like there wasn't like whispers coming through my ear but it, it just was like an internal intuition that mm -hmm. yeah i'm like totally right like gonna do this. the realization like yeah this is gonna happen right oh yeah i remember i think i told you mm -hmm. and you're like okay yeah i thought it was cool yeah because you think everything is cool <laughs> it is life is fun right 
Yeah, it's super fun. Okay, well, those are my questions. Thank you. Thank you for letting me be an interviewer. Thank you for being so inspiring and inspirational to me. Yeah, my house.